Hi everyone, today we're going to learn how to turn any song or soundbite found on YouTube into a ringtone on your phone. Let's get started. To begin, we need to make sure screen recording is enabled on your phone. To do this, you're going to go into settings and you're going to scroll down to control center. Once you click into control center, scroll all the way down to screen recording. As you can see on my phone, I already have it enabled, but if you don't, just scroll down lower on your phone and you'd see it right about here. Simply click the plus sign and now it's ready to go. From here, you can now swipe up to close out any applications that are unnecessarily running. The shortcuts application will be needed for this. If you don't already have it, go to the App Store, download it, and return to this point in the video. Now click on the little plus symbol on the top right of your phone. Now click Add Action. And in the search bar up top, you're going to type Get Latest Videos. Go ahead and click the option right here. And now you'll see there's a search bar at the bottom. Go ahead and start typing in there in code media. And click on that option here. Now click on the little arrow next to latest videos. Next to the audio only option, there's a little toggle button. Make sure to turn that on. Now you're going to change the M4A format option down to AIFF. And now you're going to go ahead and click the share option on the bottom right, and you're going to save this new shortcut to our desktop. To do this, you're going to click add to home screen down below, and afterwards you're going to go ahead and you're going to give our shortcut a new name. To make it simple, I'll just title ours Ringtone Maker. Now we can click add here at the top right of our screen. And from here, you'll see at the bottom, we have Ringtone Maker as a new icon. Now, for the purposes of this video, I'm going to go ahead and drag it to the main screen next to our other two icons we'll be using. From here, we can go ahead and open YouTube and look for a sound file we want to be using for our ringtone. I'll just go ahead and type royalty-free music for some quick sound bites. Now, once you have a clip you want to use, swipe down from the top right to bring up our menu options, and you'll see your screen recorder button. Now mine's already lit and recording for this video, but if yours wasn't, you would just go ahead and click that. Now it's okay if you clicked record and started recording a bunch of nothing in the beginning. We're just going to go back and use GarageBand to edit some of that out. Just make sure you record at least 30 seconds of sound, which is ideal for any standard ringtone. From here, go ahead and stop your music, swipe down from the top right, and make sure to turn off your sound recording. You can also do this by clicking the red flashing time in the top left of your phone. Now here's where that little important shortcut we made is going to come in handy. Go ahead and select the icon, you're going to get a little pop up. I always click allow once, you can always allow if you want to, it's not going to matter. Here you're going to go ahead and click save the files. Once you do that, you're going to find our new file down below. Go ahead and click there and you can just rename the file to whatever you want. We'll just call ours new beat ringtone or whatever. And then you're going to go ahead and just click save in the top right of the screen. Now comes the fun part. We're going to use the GarageBand app. Again, if you do not already have it, go to the App Store, download it, and return to this point in the video. Now turn your phone sideways because the GarageBand app only works in landscape. Now if you open up the app and you find yourself at a screen like this, probably because you recently used it, just go ahead and click the plus button down on the bottom left. Now that will bring you to the Instruments menu where you can scroll left and right, we're going to stick solely with the audio recorder, so go ahead and click that. Now step one in the GarageBand app, click on the little metronome icon on the top here. It should be blue to be on. We're going to turn it off at this point, so it should change white at the top of your screen. Now we want to change the view of our screen. Now we're going to find this little layered brick icon at the top left and click that. That's going to change it down to the track view option. here. And now on the very top right of your screen, you're going to see a little plus sign. Go ahead and click that. Now in the drop down, you're going to see section A. Click section A and make sure automatic is turned off. The button should be swiped to the left. Now at the bars where it says manual, it might be preset to 8 or something. We like to keep it at 15 for this. Now go and select the back button and our trackboard is now set to 30 seconds. So from here, we want to go ahead and pull in the audio file that we just made. You're going to click this little loopy icon on the top right. And from the drop down, you'll see either files that have recently been pulled in or you can browse items from the files app on the bottom. Let's go ahead and do that. From here we see our new beat ringtone on the top left, the file we just made. We're going to go ahead and select that and we'll see that pull into our song list that was just in the previous menu. 
You can tap the file to preview it, but what we want to do is drag it over here to our trackboard and you'll see it show up in the blue. Now if you click and hold any end of the track, you can pull over to adjust the starting point and the finishing point of your track, and ideally have the ringtone start and finish where you want. Once you're ready, click the little arrow on the top left and it'll drop down to My Songs. You'll go ahead and it'll save your song. Now press and hold on My Song that we just put in there, and we're going to click Share on the bottom of our menu options. You have three choices. We're simply going to click Ringtone, which is easy enough. Once you do, you're going to go ahead and click Continue. It's just telling you your song has to be adjusted to 30 seconds to be used as a ringtone. Finally, name your ringtone that we just created. Type in whatever. We'll just stick with New Beat Ringtone, which we've been using. And now just export it on the top right, and that'll send it right into your ringtone files. And at this point, you can just click OK. The ringtone has directly been exported to your ringtone files. Now what we're going to do is we're going to confirm it on the back end so that it's always there, especially after all this hard work we just put in. Go ahead and swipe up to close the GarageBand app. And what we're going to do is go into our settings. Right here down below, you see where it says Sound and Haptics. Go ahead and click that. And right there at the very top, it says Ringtones. Click into there, and you can see our new ringtone we just created. Let it play. 